Hello, Daphne Keane. Hello. That was a big part of me starting acting was that both my parents were actors, so it was kind of... I've grown around it, but I think the movie that kind of made me realise... The first movie I watched and I thought actors as opposed to characters, because when you watch films, when you're little, you don't think of them being actors, you think of the characters, was... I think it was definitely Singing in the Rain, and I realised it was an actor in that, like, make them laugh, like, singing, dancing scene, and I was like, that actor is incredible. And then since then, I just kind of started noticing actors in films. My advice to any young actor who wants to start up right now is basically it sounds really corny but it's just literally be confident because it's the only thing that's going to get you through auditions if you're shy you're going to mess up your lines you're going to not be as charismatic as you want to be in the audition room just firstly learn your lines well enough so that you're secure in them and you're safe and you feel like you can have freedom in them because you know them so well and just don't like go with strong like choices and go with your instincts because that's what people value in this industry. I think TV shows are faster. Like it's more months filming, but you're much more because you have to shoot that much more footage. It's just much more constantly like this. It just feels like you're getting much more done. Whereas with a film, you can you've got like four months, let's say, of just you can do like a scene a day whereas on a, on like a set for a tv show you're doing maybe like five scenes a day which is crazy sadly he's passed but i would love to have worked with cassavetes because i think he's amazing my life lesson might be a little bit depressing I'm just it's a trigger warning no it's not that's not depressing um i'd say that people come and go but that's okay because you've always got your memories to see them again. My seven-year-old self, that's a hard one. I'd say just don't listen to the bullies. I was very heavily bullied at school and I started acting at eight, so it was just before I discovered acting. So acting was kind of what saved me. But I do, I would say just don't, like, actually don't listen. Other people are annoying, like they don't know what they're talking about. And they're also pretending to be cooler than they actually are. And they literally, everyone then goes back home and cries about how horrible their day at school was. So it's fine and it's okay to be sad and it's okay and it will get better and you will actually find something that makes you happy and that you're good at and that you feel like you belong. Do not recommend, if you're an actor, to watch yourself back, ever. It's literally the worst decision you're ever gonna take because you're gonna see yourself and you're gonna go, oh my God, why am I doing that? Why am I doing this? And then you're gonna judge yourself and then you're gonna do a shit take after that, so.